Good morning. You want to see how we, uh, we built this uh, nice little slider bench, sometimes called a bench glider, with a fold-down armrest uh, cup holder that folds back up into the uh, frame when you don't need it? Stay tuned, because that's what we're going to do next. Well, good morning, and welcome to another Memphis Monday, Memphis Monday 220. It's the 12th um, video of our fifth year. Uh, today we're going to be building a, a slider uh, bench, sometimes called a bench glider, sometimes called a garden glider. Um, the whole genesis of this is um, a this is another one of the uh, hey I found a picture on the internet kind of deal and uh, can you build me this and I'll show you the picture that was the uh, ages of this thing and the problem is I didn't know how to build a glider because I never built one before and so in Memphis Monday 206 and 207 we built us a couple of glider rockers uh, so we could become um, somewhat knowledgeable about how to do it. And so anyway, that's what we're going to do today. And we're going to kind of fast forward to the, uh, the last quarter of the game uh, because we've already seen how to do a lot of it. So we're just going to kind of finish it up today. So let's knock off that chit chat and get to work. This is our prototype today. Uh, these, we built a couple of these in uh, Memphis Monday uh, two, uh, 206 and 207. Uh, we, you know, we did a lot of experimenting because we didn't really know how they worked and you know how high they need to be and what the shape is and all that. We figured it all out. Here's the picture I was uh, given. This is our, hey I saw it on the internet uh, picture and basically what my friends wanting is a bench glider that has this little drop down cup holder in the center. So like I say, I'm not going to, we're not going to go th through the ground up uh, build because the uh, actual structure of it we've already uh, covered in some detail in uh, Memphis Monday 206 and 207. Uh, what we're going to be concentrating on today is building this little drop down cup holder armrest combo. And we'll also uh, cover, we'll, we'll put our arms in here, and we'll also install these slats. Now I'm going to go ahead and install these bottom slats on the seat portion because I need to know how they interface with this uh, armrest. There, I'm finishing up the seat slats for the bottom. Let me uh, show you how I installed them. I uh, pre-drilled and countersunk all the uh, all the screws. Use coated deck screws. And this doesn't just provide the bottom. Uh, this uh, these slats also provide the rigidity. For the seat. This thing is sprung from or, or held up at, at the two ends which are five feet apart. So that means that that whole bench right there has to be uh, you know fairly rigid so it doesn't uh, sag in the middle. Okay now we can do some inventing. Put this in here so that 
I can see this is my template I'm coming up with to build the uh, my cup holder. Looks like that cup holder needs to be longer. No plans, I'm just making this stuff up as I go along. There's our template for the frame of the thing. It's gonna sit up. It's gonna sit up about like that. Um, because there's going to be a cup holder in here. So using that template as a guide, I'm uh, going to go ahead and cut out a part here and see if it works. And I got those uh, two braces cut out. Follow the contour of the back. And now, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to assemble this thing in place um, because I want it to fit exactly in here. So, first thing I've got to do is uh, attach these these two outer braces to the uh, to the back rail. I'm not going to use bolts to hold that uh, frame in place. I'm going to put an axle through there. two places what I'm going to do is put a hole through both pieces here this is what I mean when I Say we're going to hold it on with an axle. See, I'm going to put this axle through there and then put this uh, clip right there. That's how you get a 10,000 year guarantee. See, the axle goes through to the other side. And so what i got to do now, <coughs> before I put that second hole in there, I got to mark the exact position I want to put that second hole in. Our axle's in place. Now let's see if this thing flops down. Put the first two slats in it because I'm I want to give it a test drive here because I don't think it's going to work. Oh. We're geniuses. Well, let's see if it folds down. There you go. I want the little armrest to, uh, you know, flop down and then stop about right there. I don't want it to go all the way down to the, uh, all the way down to the uh, seat. Um, so what I'm, let me show you what I'm doing in the back. So what I'm doing here in the back is putting this little brace across here so that when the thing flips down, these two little nubs come up and hit against this brace. That's the theory anyway. Here 
here I'm putting together a little cup holder kind of deal. Now let's see if it'll close with this uh, cup holder. Seems to. Now I'll finish the top off here with uh, these slats. I was going to use a full size piece of uh, deck wood like this. It's uh, five and a half inches wide, but I thought it'd look better to continue this theme. And this is why I wanted to build it, you know, build it in place, uh, because inevitably there's going to be some issues with fitting. Right now it won't fit up between those, those braces over there because these, uh, these uh, slats here are about 16th of an inch too long. I already tried it, but I'll show you here. Fits right back up in there. Okay, what's next? I got the uh, rest. I got this thing done, and got the rest of these slats in here. Now it's time to worry about the arms. The arms are uh, basically just a flat board. Uh, this little notch is cut in there. And then the whole thing is attached underneath with some L brackets. Their exact shape is not critically important, but it is critically important that they're the same. So I made one, just playing it by ear. And now I'm tracing out the second one. So what I'll do is just cut it out, and then I'll do the final shaping on the uh, on the sander. This is uh, about an inch and an eighth thick. We'll uh, thin these down on the uh, drum sander. No mystery here, I'm just uh, connecting the arms using, uh, using these little L brackets, corner brackets, I think they're called. Okay, I think it's pretty much done, but we still have to get it on the ground and sit on it, and so don't, uh, don't tune out because this is the best part of the video when I try to lift this thing off the bench 
I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it yet, but it's going to be a plan. Okay, the plan is <clears throat> I'm going to use <clears throat> these aluminum. <clears throat> I'm going to use these aluminum ramps, uh, and I'm going to attach the ramps with screws. Here's the scheme. I got those ramps connected to the uh, workbench, and I will the uh, slider bench has has some cleats on the bottom to hold those uh, legs plumb, and we'll slide it slide it out on those uh, cleats and down the ramp. Sounds like a foolproof plan, doesn't it? I love this part of the video. Well, if it, if it falls, that will be a durability test. That's what we'll, we'll call it. Ha! <laughs> what do you think? We're geniuses. Okay, time to test it. The big thing I'm worried about is since this is a five foot span here, I'm uh, concerned about it sagging in the middle and the braces down there rubbing, so I'm going to test it by sitting in the middle. I'll be able to tell on the video if it sagged any. It didn't feel like it sagged any. And then you're sitting here. Put your drink right here. Well, I guess that does it. This is our uh, slider bench, uh, bench glider, garden glider for Memphis Monday. 220 our 12th video of year five our freshman year in college um, I think we had some takeaways uh, big projects so we just sort of concentrated on the uh, final quarter of the game uh, building this uh, little ramp here or this little uh, armrest uh, if you want to see how to make the main structure of the thing, we have two other videos, uh, Memphis Monday 206 and Memphis Monday 207, that get into the details of actually building uh, the whole thing from the ground up. All right, so I'm pretty satisfied. Well, that does it for Memphis Monday 220, the uh, 12th video of uh, year five. Uh, project turned out great uh, and uh, our little fold out uh, cup tray armrest deal turned out great so I'm real satisfied and hope you are too. Uh, like and tweet and share and Facebook and all that other stuff you do on the internet. But most important Make sure you're back here next week for another exciting Memphis Monday. Thanks for playing along.